Hey all Icon here, and this is my new series, Iconic Editorials, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice is one of the most iconic movies of the 80s, with its mesmerizing imagery, outstanding performances, and out there plot. With that being said, I do have a few questions that have been on my mind since the first time I saw this when I was 6 years old. Now, I'm not bashing the movie, by all means, it's actually a really good movie, and it's one of the few movies that I actually like by Tim Burton. The only thing that I ever hear people uh, complain about is that they just can't seem to wrap their minds around what's with all the Caribbean music. After this movie was out, Hollywood did what it does, merchandise the movie. Merchandising! Merchandising! Where the real money from the movie is made. There were t-shirts, toys. If people do remember, Beetlejuice was, or still is, the host of the Universal Studios stunt show. But the most memorable part for me would be the cartoon show. Turning Beetlejuice into a hero and not a villain, the cartoon show easily split off from the original material, creating its own success. Before I get to my point, the plot. While on vacation, Barbara and Alan Maitland drown and die due to this fuck-off dog. Their ghosts return to their home and are confused as to what's going on. They can't even leave the house. If they do leave the house, they're transported to Saturn where giant sandworms want to eat them. Shortly after this, the Dietzes, a yuppie artsy family from New York moves in. After trying to unsuccessfully scare them out of their house, a freelance bio-exorcist ghost named Beetlejuice offers to help the Maitlands, but they find him too intense and deny him. Beetlejuice doesn't take no for an answer and gets a little violent on the Dietzes. While in the afterlife getting shit for just speaking to Beetlejuice, Lydia Dietz meets Beetlejuice and is conned into summoning him up. But before she can summon him, the Maitlands return to stop her. Meanwhile, Lydia's parents plan to exploit the ghost and bring up investors, as the Dietz's interior decorator Otho tries to exercise the Maitlands using the book, Ham Book for the Recently Deceased. Not knowing that exercising ghosts makes death much worse. Lydia makes a deal with Beetlejuice. She'll marry him and bring him back to the land of the living if he'll save the Maitlands. He does, and in the last minutes of the movie, the Maitlands stop Beetlejuice from marrying Lydia, and they agree to share the house. Now, with all that being said, again, I do have some questions. Like... Why does Beetlejuice call himself Beetlegeist? How do the Maitlands learn Beetlejuice's name? If three months have passed in this movie, why is Otho still there? Why do ghosts go to Saturn? Why are Sandworms the enemy of ghosts? If Beetlejuice's endgame was to get married and come back to life, why didn't he just work that angle from the start? What was with that fly in Beetlejuice? Like, did he eat the fly, or did the fly eat him? I don't know. Beetlejuice's name, I'm guessing, is like a magic name, so you can't just tell someone that name. But if he's charading his name, isn't that pretty much just like telling his name? Why didn't that fall kill Charles Dietz? Why did Lydia want to kill herself? She has a reason, but it's extremely vague. Again, I'm not bashing this movie. It's a really good movie. It's enjoyable big time. Those are just some things that I've always asked myself. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy Halloween.